Today we're going to do one of my all-time favorite things, and that is make a paper snowflake. So I'm going to start with a white piece of square paper. This is perfectly square. I'm going to start with this. Now, if you don't have a square piece of paper, I'll show you how to work around that. If you have a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, I'll show you in just a moment how to fix that problem. But we'll start by taking the square and making it into a triangle by folding it over point to point and folding it into a triangle. Now I'm going to stop right here because if you have a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, what you do is when you make that first triangle fold over, you'll have this part right here left over. And if you take your scissors, and remember, any time a child uses scissors, there must be an adult present. But you would take your scissors and you would just cut that strip off and then you would have a square sheet of paper and you'd be ready to, to go with the, uh, with the paper snowflake. But I had a square sheet of paper, so I'm starting with a square sheet of paper, turning it into a triangle. It's not magic, it's just folding the paper. Now I'm going to make a smaller triangle by folding the triangle over again, point to point. like so. Now I have a smaller triangle. Now I'm going to make this triangle even smaller, and you know how. I'm going to fold it over one more time. So now I have a very small triangle. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this triangle back up. I'm going to take this side and fold in like so. Fold it over. Then I'm going to fold this side back over. And so we went from a triangle to something that looks like a spaceship, a space rocket. But it's not a space rocket, it's going to be a snowflake. Now, we take our scissors and carefully, now if you want a hole in the middle of your snowflake, in the center of your snowflake, you cut the end here. And I do. I want, want this snowflake to have a hole in the center. So I'm going to cut the end off like so. Put that to the side. Now, you want to be careful everywhere you have a fold, because if you cut all the fold, then you'll cut your paper apart, and you don't want to do that. So you want to be sure to leave some, uh, some of the fold folded. But I'm going to start with my scissors, and I'm going to cut a design in, and it can be as fancy or as plain as you want. Again, any time a child uses scissors, there must be an adult present. Make sure your special adult is with you. So cut out a piece like that. Now right here, I think I'm going to cut a triangle. There we go. And here I'm going to cut another interesting sort of shape. This is very relaxing, very relaxing to cut these shapes. Everyone needs to relax sometime. And even when we're working on creating crafts, parts of our creating can be restful. Put that to the side. Let's see. I'll just cut out a little, a little bit here. But again, 
see I'm, I'm being careful not to cut all of my fold I want to leave some of my fold otherwise my paper will just fall apart now I'm going to come to this side and also being careful not to uh, not to cut my folds completely I cut some designs on this side there we go and let's see I think I'll cut in like that maybe go like that back like that there we go and maybe I will carefully cut here like so now do you see what I have what you do now is carefully unfold the paper and if we have done it right and we keep unfolding we should have our very own snowflake made of paper and if you do the same project your snowflake will be uniquely your snowflake it won't be exactly like this snowflake no two snowflakes in real life are exact exactly alike and no two paper snowflakes are ever exactly alike each one is just a little different than the other but isn't that pretty and this is something you can do too now with this other piece of paper that I have I'm not going to fold it back up I'm going to lay it here to the side and I'm going to sweep up our, our little bits there we go and I'm going to lay our scissors to the side because I had a young friend who contacted me and said that their parent or their special adult would not let them use scissors yet and that's okay I'm going to show you how to do the same project without scissors so again you fold over to make the triangle but this time I'm using the eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and what I'm going to do I'm going to fold this piece over this extra piece and then I'm going to fold it back again it doesn't have to be perfect fold it again and that should make it fairly easy to tear and I'm going to tear it like so put that to the side now just like before I'm going to make my big triangle into a smaller triangle and then I'm going to make my smaller triangle into a even smaller triangle okay I'm going to open that back up and I'm going to fold in like so just like before I'm going to fold this back over and again we have our rocket ship going to the moon now this time instead of cutting designs I'm going to tear designs out takes a little more concentration and again you want to be careful not to tear all of your folds otherwise your paper will fall apart okay now I might have to open this a little bit I might be able to tear it be very careful make some designs just by tearing there we go now let's open up 
can't see. Oh, another snowflake. Oh, and this one's different too. Wow. And we didn't even use scissors for this one. We used our hands and we tore it. So we can make a paper snowflake safely without scissors. Or if your adult is with you, your special adult, and we'll let you use scissors or we'll accompany you using scissors, you can use scissors or you can just do it by hand by tearing the paper. Either way, either way you do it. I hope you'll take a little time with your special adult today and make a paper snowflake. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and click the alerts for future videos. Join me at ChuckHartman.com.